Welcome to the video diary again. Um, back for another day. Um, beautiful weather in Melbourne now. Uh, it's not bouncing with rain off the streets, but that's great. Um, so this morning, just to the track, um, the normal sort of little injuries. We're starting to get young horses come through the stables um, after being broken in. So it's a new education process for them. A few little nicks and cuts, but that's all going well. And then <coughs> we just saw, I did a few lung washes. Um, they went really well. You'll see in the following sort of how we do it. So what is a lung wash? A lung wash essentially is when we uh, sedate the horse heavily, pass the tube down into the lungs, blow up the cuff, we try and get a sample of the cells. So you'll see in the following video how we do it. And then I'll show you some samples we got today. Really useful to detect for inflammatory airway disease or for evidence of bleeding. Um, so bleeding into lungs, exercise induced pulmonary hemorrhage. Um, commonly seen in racehorses to a degree and also eventers as well so it's something we need to be aware of and we need to put in place some treatment methods to try and prevent it happening um because that's always the aim we don't want it to happen so we'll do that there so that went well and we got that all done so it went, went the, the procedure went really easily sedation we've done it plenty of times once or twice before so went well and then just a couple of lameness exams to perform a lung wash what we do is we sedate the horse very heavily and then we pass a sterile tube down through the throat, down into the lungs and blow a cuff up. As you can see here, we're instilling sterile saline into the lungs and then we're drawing it back. Looking to get a sample of the cells within the lungs, we get about 90% recovery of all the fluid that goes in and then the horse will absorb the rest of the sterile saline that we infuse into the lungs. Most horses tolerate this process really well. When we get the samples back, um, you can see in these examples we've got three or four different colours. So on the left of the screen we've got a mild red tinge of red. And then in the middle there's a slight discoloration on the very right of the screen is actually a clear sample that hasn't been instilled in the lungs. So you can see there's a wide variation here in each of the samples that we get. And once we've got these samples they then need to be submitted to the laboratory. Now some horses will have different appearances. Um, in an extreme example, um, in the next image, you'll see a horse that's had a severe bleed. So you can see here, um, the left samples are bright red. Uh, this horse had a, an acute pulmonary hemorrhage, um, and we managed to um, test this here. So you can see there's quite an extreme example of this here, very red. You look back to the previous images, and there's a very mild tinge of it. But this is an extreme example. And these cells will then be, the samples are all submitted to the laboratory for external testing. And the reason for this is we get different views and different appearances. Um, we can't actually interpret everything just off the clinic, what it looks like in the tube. We need to actually look at the cells individually. When we look at a sample of the fluid that we've collected, some of the main things that we're looking for is A, the cellularity. So in this sample, it was quite low that we submitted. Then we look at macrophages and neutrophils which, and lymphocytes, which are signs of infection. The eosinophils and mast cells are intricately linked um, with inflammatory airway disease. So horses that are chronic coughers will often have high eosinophils and high mast cells. The hemosiderophages are actually the number of macrophages that have swallowed up uh, red blood cells. So they show up as hemosiderophages. Um, when you get a high percentage of hemosiderophages, so in a high percentage we may mean greater than 30%, those horses are showing severe signs of exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage. Now some of your horses that have inflammatory airway disease will have lymphocyte, or will have eosinophils and mast cells, anywhere up from 4, 5 to 15%. And those horses there will have a different treatment regime to the horses that have just got pure exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage. So the rest of the day was taken up with uh, just following up a few cases. Um, we had to treat some horses going to Melbourne uh, three day event. So that's coming up this weekend. Good luck to clients all heading off there. And um, we just treated them with some joint protection medication. So pentazan and hyaluronic acid in the vein. Uh, we found that a really useful tool to help those horses just to take any sting out of them, the joints before they go into a big event. So they all trotted up well, trotted up sound all really happy with them so really good and then uh, follow up gelding from last week um, the gelding unfortunately one of the sides when we do a gelding we 
we leave it open so it can drain um, but this one actually closed over a bit quick so we just opened it up a bit under sedation um, sterile glove just you can open up the wound really simply and a lot of fluid came running out so that horse will do really well for the next few days and then just a pre-purchase this afternoon um, just for a racehorse going to Tasmania so trotted up well not a stable we normally do so that's something we're really strict about we don't like to vet clients horses for other people and um, we just think there's too much chance of a conflict of interest there so we like to keep it really independent really um, so we give you an honest opinion so there's no chance you're coming back saying oh well maybe you looked after the client because they're selling their horse we don't like to do that we find that's just too much of a conflict of interest so vetted this horse in another stable uh trotted up sign flexed and we did an endoscope exam which you'll see the video at the end and went really well so really good function of the throat really happy with it so onwards and upwards see you tomorrow bye